Hey, Rocket Rolls coming at you from the gorgeous Prince George's, Maryland. And hey, this is a remake. I'm about to remake a video. I was watching a video that I made uh, a couple of months ago, three or four months ago. Not that long after I first got the bike, actually. And the bike, I mean, the video, I titled it The Problem with the Africa Twin, which uh, I know the title has got a little touch of clickbait with it um, when you ride in such a perfect bike and I know there's no such thing as a perfect bike that's that's humor folks but um yeah it was kind of a you know a clickbaity title and I really didn't know what I was gonna say as I started to make it was just a little regular little motor vlog I went over to the park or whatever and um, just started talking it took me like two or three minutes to even figure out what I was gonna say and the video is not, you know, y'all know I make some long videos. I got some 30 minute deals out there. But this video, I would say, I don't know, it was about six or seven minutes total. But I really didn't get into the topic until like three minutes in. Oh, yeah. And we're probably a good minute and a half, two minutes in now on this one. And I still haven't gotten into the topic. But anyway, I digress. Um, so I'm going to remake the problem with the Africa Twin. And see if I can remember um, what I said. I don't have to. I'll make up a new five things. Well, number one, the first thing that I said that was wrong with the Africa Twin. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me, don't go there yet. First of all, there's never really anything wrong with a, you know, most of these bikes. The bikes are perfect. It's are you using the bike for the bike's intent? And the number one problem for the Africa Twin, it's going to be the same as the number five problem. And it is that the bike is not the best at doing anything. It's an all-around bike. And so it's pretty decent at doing a lot of different things, but it's not the best at anything. For example, number two, um, the size of the bike. Now, I like riding ADV bikes. I like sitting up high on the bike. I like the height when I'm in traffic. Um, you know, of course, people who ride dirt bikes, the height is a good thing. And um, overall, you know, you can't really complain about a bike, and, and I, I think in the other video I knew the height, but I'm thinking I'm sitting like 34 inches, 33, 33 and a half inches high. Um, I have some preload up in here. I'm, I'm probably pushing 35 inches. And I do keep the seat adjusted to the highest seat setting, and it is adjustable. Um, so for some people they don't like these tall bikes especially a bike that's tall and top heavy and the africa twin is both of those things i have gotten used to it i actually again i'm comfortable with the height i prefer the higher seat setting um i got like a 32 inch inseam my feet reach the ground um, especially if i'm wearing my adv boots but no matter what i'm wearing what kind of boots i'm wearing um the seat height is fine for me. Um, the third thing, the weight. ADV bikes are known for being heavy, especially for people who take them off-road. And as you guys know, I don't do a whole lot of off-roading. But, you know, this Africa Twin, this is the base model, standard edition. It's not the DCT. It's not the Adventure Sport. So it comes in at a weight around 498. 498 is a not a bad weight you know for an adventure bike but it is definitely heavy for an off-road uh, motorbike even if it were a trail bike so it's about twice as heavy as an enduro um, it's a good 200 pounds or close to it heavier than say a crf 300l um, or a klx 300 so it's tall and it's heavy um, now, it's not the fastest bike. This is an 1100. It's a 1084cc parallel twin. Um, it may or may not have gotten up to 130 plus miles per hour um, in Mexico. Um, but, you know, it's not a sport bike. It's not going to do 180. It's not going to do 150. Um, it's not a track bike. And all that withstanding... Um, it's not the fastest bike, but it's got way than way more than enough power than anybody needs to have either on the road or in the dirt. Um, people complain about the electronics being complicated. That's actually one of the things I like about the bike 
is the diversity of the electronics and all the different things that you can do with it um some folks oh yeah they complain about it but um i got distracted y'all um crap now i missed my light um what was i saying electronics yeah so you know i've done other videos on the various electronic features the power modes and all that type of stuff and you know it's actually one of the things that i like most about the bike as opposed to something to complain about and um one of the other things uh i talked i think about the 21 inch front wheel which of course is not the best road tire um, it is a great tire for off-road, the 18-inch rear, great tire for off-road, gives you good selection on um, tires as well so that you can get some, um, some tire tread that's more suitable for off-road riding. Um, but that in itself kind of leads us back into the issue with the Africa Twin. It's not the best bike at doing anything. It's a middle ground bike. And like I said in the previous video, I'm going to say it in this one, it's not even the best middle ground bike because as I mentioned before, I felt like my CB500X was a much better all around bike than the Africa Twin. Now, having said that, I'm not regretting it. Um, this Africa Twin is exactly what I need for what I'm trying to do right now and in my life and I love it um, that's it that was short enough video I hope and I just gave you I think it was five it might have been six I wasn't really counting you know what I felt like were the biggest issues with the Honda Africa twin this is rocket rocket rolls um, where do they say over and I'll let y'all get another good look at the bike you know, it's tall, it's top heavy. Um, it's not the fastest, but it's mine. I love it. And bought it for 12, 12,500 out the door, 2020, brand new. So having said that, I never talk about my stickers. Y'all see, you got the MC Rider sticker. I got the 690 ADV garage um, sticker. Um, ramen on wheels. I ain't seen no videos um, from Shauna in a while. Got my AMA sticker, my DC dirt bike, excuse me, DC dirt camp sticker, the dirt bike school. They're great. Um, Ride on Amigos. Oh, here's the 690 ADV. I think they're both both the 690s of the same channel. And of course, the Rocket Rolls, little crappy Rocket Rolls stickers. What I got on the back? Cardo. Um, Raven Dixie. I ain't seen no videos from Raven Dixie in a while. I think she might have did some name changing. I know they moved out west. Then I got the O'Neill and the Jet Boil and the RNG and the Cardo. You know, those are products. No, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not monetized for that matter. So, y'all know I do the Shad Top Case. I got the Alt Rider plate in the, sitting on, in the place of my back seat. And um, what else did I add? I added these little um, wind protectors and I have the upgraded she, um, she windshield uh, I thought I was going to take the shortest windshield and put it on for the hottest part of the year we are in the hottest part of the year and I didn't do that so um, that's not going to happen but um, maybe next year and I'm, I was thinking about doing an alt rider bash plate as well which will provide additional protection on the bottom but I knew I wasn't doing much off riding this year so I'll probably wait till next year and decide if I'm going to put that I, I guess I'm going to put some bars on here I'm not really that I'm not getting off road this summer, so I'm not really worrying about it. I might even do the, um, the Mid Atlantic BDR without the um, bars. And if I do the tat on this bike, which I may not use this bike for the tat, I'll probably get some bars before I go out there and, and attempt that. But outside of that, you know, it's a street bike. And it's a great street bike. And I've got videos telling you how great a street bike it is. Rocket Rolls, over and out.